Hi there, welcome to the video. This is just a quick, short video. Uh, I suppose a little bit of review and showing you how to set it and use it because the instructions are a little bit vague. And uh, on this Kamaza uh, Torx screwdriver set, uh, you know, I've been uh, buying tools for about over 40 years now since I was a teenager and I thought I nearly had everything. But one thing I didn't have was a Torx screwdriver and I didn't really feel the need to uh, to have one, to be quite honest, I've got tall wrenches going from quarter up to uh, up to half inch for all my mechanic and stuff, and uh, never felt the need for a Torx screwdriver because you, you know you learn everybody can use a screw, screwdriver. You know you know yourself how tight you know you can nip a screw up or whatever. But as standards have improved, manufacturers now are starting to spec specify Torx settings for screws, and in particular. This is why I'm getting this one. I was, I've got to fit a, a, or I have fitted a switch fuse box or switch fuse over there because we're having now a main supply moved and the tails are one three meters long, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, in the uh, instructions, it actually gave torque settings for the, uh, the terminal clamps. And uh, I nipped them up by hand and thought, well, I'm not sure whether that's tight enough. Try to use my uh, quarter inch tall wrench with a, uh, a a socket adapter on it with a bit. And uh, that was rather awkward. And as you can see, although this goes two up to 22, will it focus there? You can see the the uh, scale is quite coarse as it were you know there's not much of a gap between two and four and this uh, spec sheet was asking for two and a half on some of the screws and four newton meters on the other anyway so you do the normal thing you go on youtube or amazon or ebay google uh talk screwdriver and uh my word they're expensive i'm not adverse to buying decent tools you know, I've got wee hard screwdrivers. I've got a drawer full of Nipex pliers stuff down there. But what I don't like to spend is a lot of money on something that I won't use a lot. I'd rather save that money and have a decent hand tool, such as a nice screwdriver, nice set of pliers, or what have you. So, but there again, you want something decent enough that's going to do the job. So, uh, yeah, £50 upwards for a, a known brand like Weha or Weera or whatever. And actually the reviews weren't that big, brilliant. People have said they haven't lasted very long and what have you. So I was a bit reluctant. And then there was the cheapo versions that sort of use uh, the old fashioned torque meter, you know, with a, a, a using the torque, torsion and a, and a pointer. So you've got to keep your eye on the pointer. And that's not easy, especially with the, you know, you're on a set of steps trying to tighten these up and you, you can't get at the right angle to look at where the needles reach and so you want sort of i was looking for something more traditional that clicked when it got to the torque setting so i came across this kamaza torque screwdriver set uh i think most places i find it was about 32 quid and actually tool academy on ebay i've got no affiliation with them they got it on offer or it said it was on offer 26 quid and i thought actually that's not too bad okay so it seems reasonably well made uh, so it comes with the torx bits uh, an engineering plastic where it's glass fiber filled or not i don't know but there's some uh, you're probably wondering what this socket is for oh, and we'll show you what that's for now so there's some instructions on 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 the back of it but basically what you need to do you've got your torque it's all in newton meters it goes from zero up to eight so one there so what you do you put your uh, this little socket in the back there there's a little hex and you wind this up and in a minute you'll start to see the red and what they've got they've got a red disc or a red washer in there and that's your your point of mark so 2.5 if we keep going is about there 2.5 and what how it works is they're using the spring against uh, a cam or hills and valleys if you like 
and the the two halves are pressing together the springs pressing together and they've obviously calculated the spring rate and the slope of the cam and what happens is when it gets to uh, the torque setting it jumps over the cam like that and that's the big click you hear the click you hear when it's reached and that's when you stop you don't carry on after that uh, it should just click again but normally one click and you should stop so and it is quite a loud click it's more uh, noticeable than any of my torque wrenches it's quite a, a, a click so uh, a couple of things to remember I'm not sure whether the, the, I'm going to use the same rules that apply to a normal torque wrench okay whenever you finish with it don't leave it on the setting wind it back to pass zero so there's no tension on the spring because if you don't use it for 12 months I suppose the the spring rate could change we could just change the torque settings and the other thing with torque wrenches you always wind up to the number so if you want two so if we wanted three for example so we've got three we've got three on there so if we wanted two we don't just go back to two then we have to go back to zero and come back up come back up to come back up to two so you go down to zero and you come back up to two okay so you always come up to your measurement that's the rule of thumb whether it applies to this tool because it works in a slightly different way but uh it's a good habit to get into anyway okay and then as i said before when you leave it you wind it all the way back so it's nice and slack okay so that's how you use it now I didn't realize because obviously used torque wrenches how uh, difficult it would be to turn this so one of these screws was four newton meters which is there is that is about as much as I could manage with my wrists okay uh, you know I'm not particularly strong but I'm not weak either and, and that's as much as I could actually manage to get this to click now whether you get many other screws or allen keys uh i suppose you yeah you could probably could, could get stuff up to 10 because they've given you allen keys in here up to a decent size or allen key bits okay some biggish ones so you you know if you're on a bike or something perhaps you could get something now there's this hex in the middle of here and you would think oh well perhaps you can put something in there but it's uh what would we would stay in the, say in the straight trade as a bastard size it's it's no round measurement it's not quite 18 there and it doesn't it doesn't match an imperial measurement either so i don't think unless i don't think it's their intention for you to put something in there they, they don't supply anything with it anyway and there's nothing on the instructions but if i was going this is just for me to double check my electrical terminals uh, I think if I was using it on a regular basis I would 3d print a hex a T handle if you know what I mean to go in there so a hex and a T handle and if you just print it out of PLA and then uh, uh, the, the the 3d print should in theory if you don't make it solid should be weaker than the plastic on here so if the but I should imagine that hex should be able to take uh, a t uh, eight newton meters. It's uh, it looks as if it's got a join here, but it's not. It's molded. I think it's got two uh, select pins or roll pins in there to uh, I suppose for the spring to sit on. And it seems like an engineering plastic. I mean, it definitely looks. I don't know how, but it's like a matte finish. It, it is almost. I haven't got a strange smell or anything, but. It almost looks like it would have glass fiber in it. So I think it's some sort of engineering plastic. It looks pretty tough to me. So yeah, that would be a nice uh, a nice have is a T-handle with a hex on there. Uh, I suppose if I come to any electrical screws or something, that has got to be more than the four because I said four was about the limit I could turn it. Is uh, I might because uh, I've got a 3D printer, I could print a 3D handle off. The problem is, I could, you can machine one up out of metal, but the metal is going to be strong, and I think you would have a chance if uh, this isn't too strong of, of doing something here. It is strange they've put that hex in there, it looks as if they do want you to use it. I, anyhow, 
so uh yeah i've used it and it's fine it's hell of a click when it reaches the talk uh it's fine and i'm i say a lot of these tools it depends how much you're going to use them if you're an electrician you might not want to be using this every day but really all you should be using with this is just talking up the last bit so using a normal screwdriver to get up to where you think it should be and then just finishing off with a with this torque screwdriver is uh, and actually the uh, weha and those other sort of screwdrivers they do look like a normal screwdriver i think this bean is and the shape is it it's not as nice a normal screwdriver and i think it would prevent you or discourage you from using it as a screwdriver uh, it's the same as the torque wrenches you shouldn't be using them as normal ratchets you take it down with your normal uh your normal uh socketry or ratchet gear and then you just finish off the last bit with your torque wrench and that's what uh these are these are intended for they're not uh because actually it can only be there's a little arrow on here it's a job to see on here it is intent it does say oh no that's the plus and minus for adjusting that you can only use this uh one way and un unless they're talking about the adjustment it says on the back there turn clockwise set hard and clockwise for a softer when using a torque setting it must be used clockwise so what they're saying here, yes, you cannot use it anti-clockwise. I suspect it can potentially damage or unwind the spring or affect the torque setting of the spring. So there we are, 26 quid. I think it was worth that. I didn't realize actually four newton meters, because obviously being used to torque wrenches with that lever arm on it, how difficult four newton meters will be to tighten on a screwdriver. And actually I'm glad I got it because I thought I'd tighten these terminals up on this uh, switch fuse unit enough. Uh, because you're always worried about, especially if they're brass screws, you're always concerned about stripping or damaging the, uh, the, uh, the screw or the clamp that holds the wire in. And I was quite surprised how much you had to bear down to get uh, four newton meters. So there we are, quick review on that that's what it looks like actually it comes in a really nice box and i suppose you're not you know i'm going to be using it for electrical stuff but i suppose now i've got it there could be other stuff where my smallest torque wrench the quarter inch one is just a lit, little bit too coarse in measurements is i suppose if you did have something going into some sort of delicate aluminium housing and there was a torque setting for it, you know, like you got an M3 or M4 screw, I suppose I, I would use it then. But I mainly bought it to do, uh, because I've got some consumer units to put in as well. Anyway, I suppose I think that's everything. I hope that helps. Couldn't find any other reviews for it. So uh, good luck and I hope it steers you in the, the right direction. Thanks for looking.